Hey, we're Damira. My name is Evan Weiss. I play bass. Dave, I sing. Steve, I play guitar. Uh, Dave, I play drums. This is our Ford 2004 E350 extended passenger van. We drive it all over. So I think, um, <laughs> you know, like we we actually spend a fair amount of time reading things, and we don't we don't actually uh, we don't drink or smoke or like do do any kind of like hard partying like a lot of bands do. So the time in here is actually pretty calm. We mind each other's space. We keep it pretty quiet and. Uh, yeah, we listen to music, and um, it's kind of a, it's kind of driving is kind of an experience itself. Like when you're at the wheel, and then you got your wingman over here. It's kind of like this is one world up here, and then from behind the front seats is like the other world. And it, it's like this is the first dimension. This seat is like one separation from the front, and then that seat right there that you're leaning over. That's we call that the back seat. That's like the. Uh, that, that's where you, you go to sleep. That's where yeah, you yeah. Kind of, if, really you're gonna, if you're going to sleep, right. that's that's the one that you go back to. I'm talking about different worlds. There's really <laughs> different worlds. Well, you know, you think about it. Like you spend so much time, you, you, you spend so much time in this vehicle. Like it really is your world. You spend all damn day in here, and it's it's kind of like having a house. It's kind of like having an office. It, it is what it is. We eat a lot of sunflower seeds. Yeah, we do that's some sun, we do sunflower. There's seeds. different flavors. We got the dill pickle ones. <laughs> oh was the barbecue ones we tried? Those were I didn't like the jalapeno. Uh, I think um, I think no seriously. I think the biggest the biggest thing that we can talk about is that we don't pull a trailer, and the, the we we very much enjoy it. We've all been in bands that have pulled trailers. The last right before we got this van, we had the biggest trailer ever with intentions to grow, and then gas went up to four and a half dollars a gallon, and so we cut it. We pack everything right where you're sitting. Um, we have two 8x10 bass cabs. We, I mean, we we play on two guitars, bass, drums, and we got a you know a computer rig too. So everything fits in here. It's really nice being able to uh, park like normal vehicles and be able to hop in here and just drive wherever we want to. There isn't a ton of room, which I think is a, a blessing and a curse because while you know obviously we can't all like sleep at the same time or really stretch out and relax, but at the same time I think it's built the bond of the band a little better because we're forced to talk and we're forced to hang out and we're forced to become friends with each other. Thrown into unfamiliar yeah, like, territory with yeah, each other. You know, it's just, <laughs> we're constantly being able to talk and have discussions and, and you know, um, I think it's really helped us, especially considering this lineup has only been effective for like a few months. I think we've gotten really close. <laughs> we do this um, when we're on the highway because there's uh, other people that drive on the highway also. And we sometimes want to talk with people just in some form, and so we put this up to the window, which I know looks like sud, but it actually says sup, which is short for what's up, what is up. And then, you know, sometimes they write us notes back. But yeah, man, we uh, we stay at people's houses. We don't get hotels. We try to keep things as um, cost-effective as possible. Okay, so we were on tour with Fear Before the Martian Flames. I had these Vans slip-on checkered shoes, which I had worn, I've had them for like three years, worn without socks, worn for the first half of the tour, and eventually, by like day two, eventually, <laughs> Dave starts, this Dave starts screaming at me about how bad these shoes smell. In an act of defiance, I just continue to wear them for the rest of the tour. He makes me feel so bad about it eventually, that after a show in Rapid City, South Dakota, I threw them on the roof of a hotel that we played at. The next day... We show up in somewhere Idaho, somewhere Montana. somewhere in Montana or Billings, some show. The tour manager of the tour, Jacob, who'd been riding with Fear Before the March of Flames, is wearing the sneakers. He walks in, he's like, "Yeah, man, I found these shoes." <laughs> I'm like, "Are you kidding? You found those shoes?" <laughs> yeah, they were right yeah. there on the roof. Yeah, right on the roof, man. Just found them. I was like, "You know, those are my fucking smelly ass, dirty shoes, right?" <laughs> So, yeah, and he wore them for the rest of the tour. To my knowledge, he's still wearing them now. And, I, man, they smell terrible. 